Ready? Drive, 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 drive. Good, 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 good. The Foothills Falcons are busy getting ready for the start of provincial playoffs as they face George McDougal in the first round Saturday afternoon. One player to watch is running back Josh Koshman. He's been getting stronger as the season goes along and says no matter how well he does, he owes it all to the Hoggies on his O-line. I don't have a good day if the O-line doesn't have a good day, but, you know, they, they always show up to play, and, you know, all five guys, they, they always, you know, do their best, and they always make holes for me. I just got to find them. Koshman says it's great to be 10-0 to this point in the year, but it doesn't mean much at this time of the season other than home field advantage. We, uh, we were just taking it one week at a time, and we were focusing on uh, that team on that week, and uh, we were looking behind or ahead of us. And so uh, I think that's majorly what we have to give our success to. Quarterback Hunter Carl is a little less reserved. He says his philosophy is you come to the game, you better bring your A game. It's pretty much all or nothing, you know. It's you got to, if you want it, you got to get it. You get what's yours, and you don't let anybody get in the way. If they try to get in the way, you stomp. It's the only way that's going to happen. Now is, it, now, is that coming from you, or is that coming from the coaches? Oh, no. The co I try to push the coaches so we can blow every team out. That's just my competitive nature is if they show up, then they get beat by a lot. That's what I want to do. And our coach is like, no, we got to slow down. We got gentle. No, I want to I want to score. That's just who I am. I want to score. If, they, if it's their decision to show up, they didn't have to show up. Whatever, that's not a game for us. We can have practice. But if they show up, I'm going to use this game to score as much points as I can and make a highlight film out of it. Now, one of the real characters on the team is Ben Myers. He's bringing back the style that made many of us really want to forget the 70s and 80s. Not sure if he's, as they say, rocking it old school. Though. That is a great haircut and mustache. I'd like, is this is this a, something you wear all the time, or is this just for football? This is just me. This is just you. Yep. It's going to get longer, so time I'm going to be down, down back of my knees. So you're, you're bringing back the mullet. You're rocking it. Yeah. So give me a spin. Let's see what this looks like for the back. So party in the back. Yeah. Business, Business in the front. Yeah. The team's coach, Darren Olson, says the players are really the ones leading the way, which is pretty much what he was looking for this year. The grade 12 kids have done an outstanding job. We've got about, I think there's 14 of them, and they've all bought in, and you know they're uh, they're drinking the Kool-Aid, so to speak. And so, and, and it's the whole coaching staff. Like, everybody is focused, and we've done a really good job as coaches of keeping the kids focused one game at a time and not looking beyond the next opponent because... You know, especially this time of year, you don't want to get in any kind of trap game situations, right? So, so the kids have done a great job, and the younger guys have responded really well, and and it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, I mean, the success is a key thing, but but the kids are good and they're focused and they work hard, and so that makes it a lot better. Some players say the McDougal team is talking a little smack hitting into the game, but they wouldn't comment on it on camera. Olson, of course, was very diplomatic. Um, we take every opponent. We, uh, you know, we give them the respect that they deserve, and we'll see what happens at the end of the game. But we're definitely ready for them. The Falcons face McDougal Saturday afternoon at one o'clock at Falcons Field in Okotoks.